Hi, yeah, I thought I'd upload this video to, to show my progress or my process on how I made this this painting. I started in Procreate, which is unfortunate because I don't think the time lapse um, effect is that great. But then I switch over to Photoshop a little later, so so you could actually see what I'm doing instead of seeing a time lapse of just the lines I put down. So for this scene. Um, you know, I, I, you saw that I changed the girl's hair from a long ponytail to something a little more curly. You know, it was, it was kind of tough to get that angle with her ear and her front face, so just something like this is a lot easier to mask out her, the back of her and focus more on the character in the mirror. So here I'm planning out my colors, and sometimes I go pretty crazy with colors, but I really wanted to tone it down because this is um, like a spread in my upcoming book that I'm making. Yes, that's right, I'm making a, a little book on the making of the short film that I made, Mismatched. So this is to introduce the character design portion. So the concept of the piece had to be um, a girl getting ready in the mirror with a lot of mess around her and also her phone has to be visible. And I put the book together and I cropped it a little too tight and there's no phone in the book so it's kind of defeats the purpose but whatever I still think it looks nice and in this drawing you see the phone and I think it, it looks nice and maybe I'll find another use for this painting maybe I'll put it in my portfolio because geez this took a long time and I don't think I'd have a motivation to make something so detailed um, unless I was working against the clock which I was um, for this piece in procreate the reason I had to move it over is because my file was really big. I tried to make, I think it was like 17 inches wide. And the problem was I only had 33 layers. And so everything was basically merged, like this character was basically merged onto one layer at the end. And all these little props that I'm about to do, they all get their own layer so I could like move them around. But then there was just no layers left. So I just had to bite the bullet and move on. Um, I'm just playing around with Mike McCain's brushes to try to add some textures. My goal is to kind of keep it simple and cartoony because this is um, a viz dev piece for my short film. The, the, the painting couldn't be detailed enough that is unbelievable to animate. So I wanted it to be, you know, a little bit more detailed than what you do in animation, but not so far off that it's unbelievable for the character especially so for the background I had to kind of fit in with that aesthetic and I want it to be simple enough that the character stands out so I'm looking up like a lot of reflective references on Pinterest and stuff and taking photos of the stuff in my bathroom because honestly I have really like, never really drawn reflective stuff and it is a tough one out there it's tough to be a bug out here so that sink, I give it a go and then I give up and then I end up drawing a different um, sink hardware because, well, first of all, that's not really a real sink um, spout faucet. It's pretty, it's just made up, so it didn't work. Um, so now I move it over to Photoshop and geez, the process is so much faster once I move to Photoshop. I finally have all the tools that I want. Procreate is just so limiting with the things that you can do on it and like clipping masks and all these things. It just takes so much longer on Procreate. They, I just need my shortcuts. I'm a shortcut queen, what can I say? And with like something clear like this, like I could actually just add 10 layers to make this clear bottle instead of trying to fit it all onto one layer. So trying to figure out how I can duplicate things to make it go by faster because I kind of want to be done at this point. I'm excited to put it in the book and see how it looks like. Um, adding just as much mess as I can think of. I was like holding, I, I had like a Pinterest thing open of what makeup looks like. Cause I was like, what does makeup possibly look like? You forget everything once um, once you're doing it. Um, and when I add a lighting at this stage, so like this stage, you see it? I think I should have kept it at this stage. Honestly, like I always prefer flat colors better. I, I prefer color flat, designs to like highly rendered things so for the purpose of the book of what it needs to do the lighting and stuff like that is vital and I keep it in but to be honest um, I, I like it better like this 
It's just, um, it's simpler and it's cuter. Okay, so you see me struggling with this sink. And I'm looking up reference and I'm looking how metal works. And it's so hard because those two twisty parts just don't make sense. I'm actually, so here I'm looking at an actual sink that looks like this. And it's just, uh, it makes a lot more sense. So I have to add a little bit more clutter around the faucet area because it was pretty empty once I moved it. And then I started getting the hang of this metal look. And throwing in a little plant in the corner, it's just to take up a little bit of foreground space and just to cover up a little bit of that corner. Um, just quickly like doing some wall background stuff, making it look really clean instead of using the lasso tool, using the rounded rectangle tool to add some type of elegance and modernness to it adding these lighting pieces with some reflectiveness to it. And once I'm basically done at the stage, see, this is the stage that I wish I kept it at. Um, adding some shadows and some reflection underneath um, the objects and stuff like that. And then here it's time, oh, well, before, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. I quickly just put on a few janky little pictures to personalize this a little bit more. Honestly, <laughs> I didn't want to spend any time on it, so it really does look bad because <laughs> um, I didn't want to do it. But I think that it's kind of like a minimal part of it that you don't really notice it. Um, just kind of in the background. Um, so now I'm going back into my colors and to what's it called, my overlays and stuff. Trying to add this um, green type of shadow behind her as well as a green rim light behind her to kind of imply that maybe the door behind her is cracked open and there's a little bit of green lighting coming in just to make her stand out a little bit more and trying to make her, you know, lighter, trying to make the light actually look like it's really bright, like that's the only light source we have. But I kind of did my layering all wrong. I don't know why I suddenly forgot how to do my layering because I put all these multiplies on top of everything so then when I went back to clipping masks to make my lighting on the objects themselves, they were tinted yellow. Like they were not bright because it was underneath all my multiplies. So I had to like copy and paste and merge all these things and add them to on top of it. And geez, it just took so long and it was totally unnecessary. I Anyway, so that's about it for this piece. Um, I think it's it's pretty nice, although I'd like to take out the lighting, but I'm glad that I did like a big fizz dev piece. I feel like I haven't done this in a really long time. And that's about it. Although I do end up flipping this in my book to make it kind of fit with the spread. So it's, it's flipped horizontal, but this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, bye.